tell me what your ears fit from an audio expert, I guess, or of some sort anyway. Tell me what you just said. Do I need more of this or less of that? But anyway, you're 25 over the sound tremendous down here. All right, yeah, you're F9, but I'm on a loop antenna that's on the ground, so I'm going to go babysit the cars in a little bit. Hey, uh, welcome to uh, Shortwave Channel. 
I took out this radio. You guys probably, a lot of you might never have seen it on my channel because I played with this, but a long, long time ago, I saw videos dating from 2012. The Degen DE of L6, and it's sad that it's not a great radio because it's one of the only radios that has lighted keypad and buttons, which is absolutely fantastic. A nice big display with RDS. Unfortunately, when you use the telescopic, signals are weak and audio is so weak that even at maximum level, if it's a little noisy, you don't hear anything. That was my first complaint. And you could see here on the AM mode how thinny the audio sounds. The only place that it sounded nice when I was tuning now was single sideband didn't seem too bad, but it it like I said on an external antenna. I'm on the MLE30. I never put the MLE30 on this radio, so it's interesting because I see a performance that i had never seen before. Um, so I'm gonna make more videos, but this is discontinued. You can't find it anywhere, and it's not worth it. It was very expensive at the time. I remember that. This was about 120 US dollars, 130 US dollars back in the day. It doesn't mute because it's not DSP, but it was not worth that money. This was one of the biggest disappointments in the radio. So beautiful, so many things correct, including the keypad that slided, but bad audio, low audio, and not that great performance. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.